guys, thanks for joining me for another shave. Another Friday shave. God, these Fridays are coming quick. <laughs> How you doing, guys? I hope you're okay. I hope you've had a great week and some smooth shaves. Right, we're going to Russia for this one. As you've seen from the title, we're going for home like shaving safety razor. And this is the full kit. The start. Great presentation. It comes with a lifetime warranty card. And it comes with four plates. That's the kit. It comes with a closed comb 1.38 gap, open comb 0 0.90 gap, closed is 0 0.68, is that, I think? Beautiful. And the plate that I've got on is the SP 0.90. Beautiful razor. This is the polished version, stainless steel. Look at the nailing on that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Extremely flat profile there. I've used this before, and this is a loan to me from my good friend Paul H. From Paul H Films. How you doing, Paul? Don't worry, I'm looking after it, mate. And I loaned it off him to try before I started the YouTube channel, and I wasn't that keen on it. But I wanted to try it again because I'm thinking of buying one. There's the head plate. Love these notches. Holds the uh, blade very secure and they fit in there. See if we can get it the right way around. The right way around. There's the base plate. And we're going rushing for the blade. Repairer Platinum Lux. Swedish steel, but made in Russia. Double wrapped, which is always a bonus. You can get it out the wrapper. No glue marks whatsoever. You pop that on the head, on the head cap. You keep on the head plate. It's not a head plate, head cap. <laughs> nice heavy weight, quite, quite heavy. No overhang whatsoever to be aware of, so nobody's there. Right, so been looking forward to this. One of my new purchases, purchases, pur purchases of a good friend of the channel, Jay Fett, gave me the opportunity to buy three sets of them. And if you watch the unboxing video, you'll know roughly which one it is, and you'll know from the thumbnail, Cognac. Tallow and steel, shade and soap. I've been wanting to try these for, for a while, and they're made in Winnipeg in Canada. And where's the ingredients? There's the ingredients. I love the label. And a tip from Jay was, if you ever get one of these guys, be careful, look after your label because they're made out of linen and you can feel the texture of them. So be careful of your labels, guys, keep them dry. And I love the label, you got the, uh, the old wine barrel there, and the tap and the grapes, beautiful label. And the scent, boozy. You can smell the cognac. Notes are cognac, oak wood, vanilla, orange, tobacco, cocoa, and jasmine. You get the oak wood tobacco. You you can, you've got that hint of the, the, the citrus. The orange. Oh, it's divine guys. It's absolutely divine. There's the pour. You can see where I've taken some out. And I've whipped it up already and I've used the uh, Chris Bailey method. I am CDB and I'll leave a link into his channel. So uh to, to directly to the uh, it's it's a tutorial for lathering and look what it's produced guys isn't that some lather and i'm using my yaki goblin beautiful brush 24 millimeters synthetic with the coin kindly gifted to me from my good friend kevy kevy Parr. 
from Kevy Shaves. How you doing, Kevy? I hope you're not working too hard, mate. Right, as I say, whipped it up in the captain's choice bowl, my copper bowl. Right, let's wet the face and get lovely. Oh, nice to see it again, guys. Seems like ages since uh, yesterday. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is one nice creamy lather. Yeah, I watched I've watched a few of Chris's tutorials. I am CDB, and they they're really informative, and you can learn a lot. I haven't used his method for a while, so I watched his tutorial today. I thought I'll give it another go because. I've used it before and have fantastic results. So give it a try. But at the end of the day, it's your shave. Use what you feel best. Suits you. Right, here we go, guys. The Home Light Shaving Star Razor. Repair it, looks parade for the first use. Wow, that's smooth. This is better, but it could be the blade, different blade in, but this feels better than it did last time I used it. So yeah, I think I'll be buying one of these. Even with those few strokes. So how have you been guys? Any petrol shortages where you are? Fuel sort shortages? Shortages? Can't get me words out guys, I'm mucking puzzled. Yeah, Britain's... UK's been on a, a panic buy again. All because of the media. Saying that there's a fuel shortage, uh, publicising it because two garages down South London closed because they ran out of petrol. We haven't ran out of petrol, it's the drivers we're struggling with. Not HG drivers. As Jim will know this, won't you, Jim? We're not sure of drivers. Heavy goods for long distance drivers. We're sure to the long distance drivers have a, a specific, but you need a specific license to haul explosive fuel like petrol and diesel. This is beautiful, guys. Razor feels excellent in the hand. Nice balance. It doesn't feel like a 0 0.90 gap. It really doesn't. It's really efficient. It reminds me a little bit like the um, Edmund Jagger 316, but you got a little bit more blade feel, but the efficiency is unbelievable. Yeah. So, it's not the drivers. Per se. Wow, I'm impressed. It's drivers with a certain license. The garages have been running now, closing the pumps down. And uh, yeah, panic by just like the uh, depressed it with the uh, pandemic. Made everybody panic by. I fueled up as normal a day before everybody was running out, but I had to queue. There was about 60 cars in the forecourt. I had to queue for the fuel, so normally I'll put enough in for the week, but I thought I'd better fill it. And I did need it because I only had enough fuel to get home, but not to get into work the next day. I explained that to me, boss. <laughs> 
I said, no, you have to get some fuel. Anyway, panic was over. I managed to get filled up. Here we go, guys. Second pass across the grove. I managed to get fueled up and panic was over. But it's slowly getting there now. Garages are slowly getting the uh, the deliveries of the fuel, the, the pumps. But apparently the army are stepping in in the next couple of days to uh, help out. Well, I've seen things on uh, YouTube and have the, of people filling shopping bags up with fuel, panicking. Unbelievable. This is a beautiful razor and it feels completely different than I remember from last time. So what are you using guys? What's your shaves of the day guys? Let me know in the comments and keep your comments coming guys, I really appreciate it. Really enjoy reading them. As always, some funny ones. Yeah, I think I'm up to date. <laughs> Thank you to the new subscribers. I've had a few the last few days. Thank you so much. Thanks for jumping on board and joining the family, supporting the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you don't want to ask them on the comments my email address is right down at the bottom if you take a look you can always ask me that way privately right, here we go guys against the growth third pass enjoying this the scent the the slickness is there it's an absolute which i expect with a tallow base but the cushion and the glide Would I recommend this soap? Hell yeah. The scent is, um... You know what that scent reminds me of? Christmas. Oh, that dress is weird. It reminds me of Christmas. So I like a bit of brandy, Christmas, in the cold weather. Speaking of cold weather, weather has changed here in the UK, where I live anyway. It's been wet, dull, and miserable. And it is getting a bit cooler, especially in the morning and at night. There's almost a frost in the mornings. I can feel that chill in the air, but it's nice as well it's nice and crisp i thought i had a spot there today and i thought i got rid of it that wasn't a nick or anything i've decapped a little spot i thought i got rid of it Beautiful up the nose, but against the nose, <laughs> not up the nose, don't, don't show it up your nose.
Wow. Superb. And if you guys got one of these, let me know what you think of it. And you guys got any of the uh, Talon steel soaps? Let me know your opinions. Let me know some different. Uh, I've got three. Uh, here we go, guys. Pick up that. I've got three, um, three soaps. But if you got guys have got anything different than what I've got, any recommendations on scent? Let me know. You have to watch the unboxing video to see what scents we've got if you haven't seen it. Is it beautiful? It's probably a long video because <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm taking me time and I'm savouring it. Wow. Wow. With a nice BBS. A water in it. It. Granddaughter's in bed. <laughs> First towel. Thanks, Mrs. B. Oh. That is beautiful. That is a great shave. Splash. Matching splash. Can you see that? Is that light a bit bright? Skin food in this. It does smell good enough to drink, guys. Oh my word. Wow. It smells boozy. But it's a warm, comforting Christmas scent. It just reminds me of Christmas. It's beautiful. Don't forget, on these as well, guys, try and keep your labels dry. They're made of linen balm and I want to keep this scent so if that's the right way up I'm going sterling unscented from shaving time here in the UK. That's all you need guys. B size. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. Get rid of it. Maybe it doesn't go too good with the air. Uh... Mind you, I didn't shake it enough. There you are. You can't have too much. Especially when you, your skin's getting as old as mine. Not as young as I look, you know. I only look this young because of this way of shaving. If you believe that, <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, fantastic razor. Yes, I'm going to get one. Absolutely superb soap. A matching splash. Towel on steel. Cognac. Fully recommend. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next shave. Hopefully, if I can fit a head shave in, I'll see you at the weekend. But if not, I'll see you on Tuesday. Take care. Have a fantastic weekend. Spoo shaves. And stay safe. Bye, guys.